Thank you very much for joining us though, this afternoon, Coach. We really appreciate it, and congratulations on being selected to play in the All-State Sugar Bowl this year. Appreciate uh, that. We're excited about the opportunity. We'd uh, like to start off today by asking you to make a brief opening statement, and then we'll go ahead to question and answer. So please go ahead. You bet. Uh, uh, I'm so excited for our football team, uh, our players, coaching staff, support staff. Uh, it's been a, a great year, a long year. Um, had some ups and downs, but uh, uh, guys came together, but believed in each other, uh, had great player ownership, and uh, found a way to uh, play really good football, especially on the road, uh, especially late in the season, being able to get uh, some key road wins, uh, allowing us to stay in the race, and then uh, played a really good TCU team in the Big 12 championship game, and uh, it was a slugfest toe-to-toe -to -toe and uh, found a way to get a Big time stop in the uh, uh, goal line stand, third and fourth down, and uh, get a first down and be able to kick a field goal to to win the Big 12 championship. It was a goal of ours. It was something that uh, I don't think a lot of people thought that K-State would be in that Big 12 championship game, let alone win it. But our guys always believed that we would and could um, if we continued to rise up and play to our abilities. And uh, lo and behold, we were able to do that and uh, excited for the guys. And we're looking forward to coming to New Orleans for the All-State Sugar Bowl. Thank you very much, Coach. Uh, once again, for the media, please indicate your desire to ask a question by raising your hand virtually. Once you're called on, you'll be invited to unmute your line and ask your question. Our Coach, our first question is going to be from Ted Lewis from the New Orleans Advocate. Yes, Coach, uh, you talk about the excitement of coming down. Yesterday looked like such an emotional game for your team and all. Now you get to turn around and play, as uh, Deuce talked about today in, in, on TV, one of the blue bloods of college football. Do you do you do you do you worry about having any problem about getting your team emotionally and physically ready to play in Alabama? If it were this week, maybe. Uh, but uh, we're going to get uh, a good chunk of time where uh, us as coaches are on the road and the guys are away from football for a little bit uh, to be able to rejuvenate, recharge a little bit. Uh, to come back and, and have a couple of good weeks of preparation that uh, I know our guys uh, will be excited about a heck of a challenge to play a, an awesome program like Alabama. So much respect for Coach Saban and what he's done for, for college football in general. And so I, I know that when the time comes to um, lock and load for the game plan and being ready to play that our guys are, will, will be ready. But uh, um, without a doubt, it, we need a little bit of time right now. Our next question is from Landon Reinhardt. Mr. Reinhardt, if you could please let us know what organization you're from before your question. This is Landon Reinhardt with uh, KSNT 27 News in Topeka. Uh, Coach, what's it do to K-State football and Manhattan to play a traditional powerhouse like Alabama? Well, I think it's a great opportunity for our players, for starters, uh, to be able to play a, a great opponent like uh, Alabama out of the SEC. And, um, you know, our league is pretty good. I, I think top to bottom, uh, the Big 12 is is still uh, one of the top conferences and uh, um, proven out with TCU going to uh, the CFP and us getting a chance to play in one of the New Year's Six Bowls in the, in the Sugar Bowl. And so I think it uh, – uh, I know our guys, when they saw uh, Alabama come up, they were excited about getting a chance to play one of the uh, traditional powers uh, for decades in uh, college football, especially in the, the time that uh, Coach Saban's been there. They've won championship after championship, and it'll be a big task for us. We'll now go to Kellis Robinette from the Wichita Eagle. Hey, Chris, uh, two quick ones for you. First off, uh, just on Alabama. What's kind of the, your first impressions on what they've done this season? And I also want to know if uh, you had an update on uh, Malik and Echo and how they're doing after uh, yesterday. Yeah, uh, with regards to, to Alabama, obviously they had a, had a really good year. Uh, lost a couple games on the last possession or last play, uh, which, um, you know, if, if not, they'd probably be in the, in the CFP. Um, so it's uh, going to be a great challenge to us. Uh, we believe that Echo and uh, – Malik will be able to play in the Sugar Bowl. Obviously, if we played in the next two weeks, they probably wouldn't. But because we have some time, our reports uh, would indicate that they will be available. We'll next go to Tim Everson from the Manhattan Mercury. Tim, do you, if you still have a question, Tim. Hey, Chris, I guess what was kind of the uh, – what was kind of – I know you guys got to get home and uh, get to uh, – kind of be presented at, at a halftime of, of the basketball game last night. 
uh, just kind of walk us through the, the emotions and how cool that was to be able to do that. Yeah, it uh, was great that our basketball team played at home against uh, Wichita State. They got a big win. Congratulations to Coach Tang and his staff and players for a big win. Uh, it was an electric crowd, which I was so excited. Our basketball team deserves that uh, with the start that they've had, especially with so many people being at AT&T Stadium yesterday. For our kids to walk onto that court uh, and see a packed packed house, I thought was terrific. Uh, I want to also thank Coach Tang, his staff, his players for greeting our guys. We were at the end of the tunnel when they were going into the locker room at halftime. And uh, uh, every one of uh, those coaches and those players of the basketball team were genuinely excited for our guys, high five and hugging. And uh, it, it just goes to show you how important uh, athletics are and the support that each team has for each other uh, with all our sports here at K State. It was a pretty cool and special moment for those guys to to take that uh, Big 12 trophy out onto the court last night. We'll next go to Alec Busey. Alec, if you could please identify yourself with your media outlet and before you ask your question. Hey, Coach Alec Busey, Ima Online. Uh, Coach Shaven talked about not knowing exactly who's going to be available and not available with the current nature of opt-outs. Can you explain how that maybe alters your pre preparation a little bit for a game like this? You know, it, it's for all of us, to be honest with you. Coach is, is right. Nobody knows um, what's going on, um, what representation are talking to guys, what will happen. Uh, I, I think that's going to play itself out over the next uh, three weeks. And so everybody will, will, will know probably by that uh, game week or 10 days before who's going to play. But that's that's the nature of college football right now and whether or not a guy is going to go and prepare for the draft and not, you know, risk the injury. Um, those are all uh, personal decisions that uh, uh, everybody has, and, and we'll take those on our team as they come as well, just like, um, uh, you know, Coach will do with his team, and that's just uh, that's where we're at in college football right now. We have time for two more questions. Uh, first one will go to Scott Fritchen. Scott, if you could please uh, let us know what media outlet you're from. Yeah, uh, Scott Fritchen, K-State Athletics. Coach, I was just curious if you could maybe walk us through the last 24 hours. I know it's been probably uh, pretty interesting for you. Yeah, um, we got back and went to the basketball game. And uh, uh, once I left there, I came home and, and uh, visited with my wife for a little bit and, and crashed and burned as fast as I could and got up this morning. And, and um, we had a lot of meetings with uh, our current staff, um, just kind of planning out the next week because we're on the road. Uh, out recruiting and we got official visits next weekend and a little bit of practice and just planning out the whole month of of December really leading up to uh, the Sugar Bowl. So it's been, uh, um, I don't know, somehow it's 418 here uh, Central Time and it's been a busy, busy day, but a, but a good day, a day that we're excited about. Didn't see any of the announcements of the of the top four. I kind of knew who the four were going to be. Didn't see all the uh, the stuff with um, bowl announcements, Matt, we were in meetings literally most of the uh, uh, morning and afternoon. So, but uh, we, we kind of knew what the plan was. Uh, Ted Lewis, do you have a follow-up question? Coach, uh, I don't know if it's, you realize it, but if the uh, expanded playoffs were in, in effect, you'd be getting a first round buy uh, uh, right now. What would you what, what what do you think about the expansion of the playoffs, especially for a school like Kansas State that might not be uh, considered in the, uh, uh, the the hunt for a conference championship every year? Well, did we lose, Coach? Coach, you might have frozen up. I think we're frozen. We, we, we might have frozen. Uh, that as that was our last question. Uh, we're going to wrap up the call on that note. Uh, once again, thank you to all the media for joining us today. Uh, most information for the media. What, what, hold on, we got Coach coming back. Did, did you hear the last question, Coach? No, I, I, I got cut off. Uh, Ted, are you still online? Ted was asking uh, if you would be, if this was a 12-team playoff, you would have uh, had a buy, a first-round buy into the playoff. How do you feel about the expanded playoff coming, and, and what does that all mean to you? When it happens, it, it happens. I, it didn't happen this year, so we really don't have an opinion or or uh, have a comment on it. Thank you very much. And, and thank you for taking the time this afternoon, Coach. We, we know you've got a million things going on. We look <laughs> forward to seeing you in New Orleans in a couple of weeks. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me, everyone. Thank you very much.
And once again, for the media, uh, most information that you would need to cover the Sugar Bowl is available at allstatesugarbowl.org. However, you can also uh, reach out to me at any time. My name is John Sudsbury. I'm the Director of Communications. My email is john s at sugarbowl.org. My cell phone is 504-427-7076. Uh, all of us here at the Sugar Bowl are here to help you out. Make sure you have a good experience here and everything goes well. So we look forward to seeing people in a couple of weeks down here in New Orleans. Thank you.